Welcome to Real Estate Mortgage Shop, where we offer solutions to your real estate and financing scenarios. I'm Joe Garner, your host, mortgage professional. Catch this podcast and more at jogarner.com. Good morning, Memphis. Welcome to our internet listeners and podcast listeners across the 50 states. You're on Real Estate Mortgage Shop, and I'm your host, Joe Garner, Mortgage Loan Officer. You can connect with me at jogarner.com. Our general topic today is how to appeal your real estate property assessment value and uh, axe the tax, chop your mortgage costs. We're going to be covering all of that today on Real Estate Mortgage Shop. Our show today is brought to you by Evolve Bank and Trust, the Memphis Mortgage Department. Today is May 20th, 2017. Who do you know that wants to ratchet up their mortgage career and have a little fun doing it? Give me or Chad Irwin a call at 901-260-1480. And if you have a question or comment and you're on Twitter, make them to hashtag J.O. Garner. Or you can call me directly off the show at 901-482-0354. Or you can email me, J.O. at J.O. Garner.com. You can call us while we're live today. And that number is in the studio is 901-535-9732. Today on Real Estate Mortgage Shop, our special guest is an appraiser, Brian Mallory. And I'm gonna, he and I are going to be talking about steps you can take and resources that you can use to appeal your property tax assessment to lower your taxes. Or, you know, Brian can do it for you for only half of the first year savings that you get from doing that. I'll be covering some steps that you can take to get rid of your private mortgage insurance. And hey, get rid of your mortgage too. (laughs) We have to show you how to pay that off early. Now, to introduce our guest, first time in the Real Estate Mortgage Shop studio, ready to help us save some money, Brian Mallory. Brian uh, has been licensed, he's been a licensed property tax agent. He's certified residential uh, appraiser, and he's a real estate broker, and he's been doing that for many years years. He owns and operates the Mallory Firm Incorporated, Mallory Appraisal. He also owns Mallory Property Tax Advisors. He was appointed by the mayor and the Memphis City Council to serve as a board member on the Shelby County Board of Equalization from 2009 to 2011. Telling you what, Brian, you know your stuff. (laughs) Tell us a little bit more about you, Brian, and what you do for your clients. Well, thank you, Joe, for having me on your show. I appreciate it. I am very busy with uh, all of my uh, real estate state businesses, but uh, once every four years, the properties in Shelby County are reassessed, and so right now I am just swamped with uh, property tax appeals, uh, working with clients on trying to get their, these are residential properties, trying to get their properties reduced, the values on their properties reduced. So busy with that. Also, you know, I still have a real estate firm and appraisal company, so I'm busy with those as well. So very busy, but uh, very swamped with property tax appeals. And I'm glad you had me in here today and hopefully can give some uh, helpful advice to property taxpayers on uh, how they can get their property taxes reduced with or without my assistance. I'm going to give some uh, some helpful hints today. Well, I'm glad you're in the studio with us, and I know a lot of people are listening, and they want to hear what you have to say. Well, I am I am uh, Joe Garner. I'm a mortgage loan officer for the past 25 years. I work with people who want to refinance or purchase real estate right here in the Memphis area or anywhere in the country. You can call me directly at 901-482-0354, and we can talk about what you want to accomplish from your mortgage financing or you can complete your loan application online. You can go to jogarner.evolve.mortgage. You get personal service, and you get a very competitive rate, too, all in one. Rates this week took a surge downward early in the week due to the market reaction to the latest changes going on in Washington, D.C., but stocks made a comeback in the later part of the week. Mortgage rates kind of went up a little bit, too. Mortgage rates on the 30-year fixed rate are still hanging around the low fours um, on the conventional primary residence. Loans on uh, investment property is higher. The 15-year loans are down in the threes, but call me, call me, but you have to ask for me personally or we may not get to work uh, together. I do want to work with you. Call me directly at 901-482-0354 or connect with me at jogarner.com. Brian? The market right now is just incredibly busy and exciting. 
there is uh, such a lack of good inventory on the market right now that uh, any product that is move-in ready, mainly uh, there are a lot of younger buyers out there that are looking for move-in ready product. And with such a low inventory, I'm seeing a lot of multiple offer situations, just a, a very busy, crazy market right now. Yes. Well, you know, in the higher values that in this market that we're seeing today, Brian, is going to allow people to pull off some really clever methods of getting rid of their mortgage altogether much sooner than you think that you can. And if you if I loan you, for instance, if I loan you $200,000 on a 30-year mortgage today, you can eliminate about seven to eight years off that loan by making one extra principal and interest payment each year until the loan is paid off. You could also <clears throat> you could also have like uh, one twelfth of the principal and interest amount of your payment, and just add it automatically uh, to your regular payment each month, and you can do that even using the electronic bill paying system. But at four percent interest rate on a two hundred thousand dollar loan, thirty years, your principal and interest payment would be about nine hundred and fifty four dollars a month. Add about a twelfth to that to that payment, and voila! You you know you do that every month. You can get that that uh, mortgage, that thirty year mortgage, cut down to about a twenty two or twenty three year mortgage. And if you've ever closed on a mortgage, you've probably been bombarded with that stuff that you get in the mail. You know, claiming that the sender is your mortgage company and they're offering to help you make your payment two times a month. And of course, uh, they're going to want a fee for that. You know, like four hundred or five hundred dollars for you to pay them. Don't do that. They get your information from public records filed uh, with your municipal records office, but uh, you you can do this on your own. And by the way, that's not coming from your mortgage company. That is coming from a company that's trying to make you think they're your mortgage company. But uh, the math of paying your mortgage off every two weeks is really the same as just making one extra payment, principal and interest payment a year. Let me tell you a story. I had a mortgage client contact me. And he thought it was impossible to ever get his mortgage paid off early because his wife had been ill. She had subsequently, you know, passed away and left him. He had huge medical bills in order to survive while she was sick. He had racked up a double digit interest rate, huge balances on credit cards. What we did was we refinanced his mortgage to a 30 year term, even though he wanted to pay it off early. But hang with me for a minute. And we included paying off some of his high interest rate bills and those high payment bills that he had racked up, we added that into the mortgage. His new mortgage payment wasn't really that high since I had him on a 30-year plan and we had reduced the interest that he was paying down to like 4%, um, 4-ish on the interest rate instead of those double-digit interest rates he was paying. Here's the cool thing. He was able to pay quite a bit of extra principal each month, principal and interest each month, because of all that extra money he had freed up from getting rid of those high interest rate debts. I mean, the guy was saving like three to four hundred dollars a month. So he took two hundred or three hundred of that savings and he'd started applying it every month toward his principal so that he could be on track to still pay his mortgage off in 15 years instead of 30. But connect with me at jogarner.com or you can call me at 901 482 0354. Let's put the numbers together to see what you can save on your mortgage. Brian, we've got about, uh, we're not going to have time to get to your topic before we go to break, but Brian, when we come back from break, I want you to talk about how to axe the tax. How can we appeal our Shelby County, Tennessee real estate property tax assessments? That's great. I'm looking forward to diving into that. We are just now past the point where online informal reviews are over, and now it's a matter of uh, appealing the cases before the full board of equalization. So we will dive into that, and I'm excited about that. Oh, we're going to do it. All right, so join us on Real Estate Mortgage Shop. I'm Joe Garner, your host, mortgage loan officer. We're talking with Brian Mallory, a certified property tax appeal expert. We want to talk with you. Give us a call while we're live today on the air at 901-535-9732. We'll see you guys back in just a moment. Hello, I'm Chad Irwin, Loan Production Manager at Evolve Bank and Trust in Memphis, Tennessee. You're listening to Real Estate Mortgage Shop. Now back to your host, Joe Garner. There's taxes everywhere, man. Taxes everywhere, man. I pay more than my share, man. It's at the dairy, yeah, man. Tell you it ain't fair, man. There's taxes everywhere. There's sales 
bills tax, wheel tax, fuel tax, school tax, state tax, mine tax, land tax, liquor tax, gift tax, ship tax, air tax, fur tax, trash tax, meal tax, beer tax, soda tax, ear tax, air tax, everywhere you go tax, stop tax, death tax, cradle of the grave tax, taxes everywhere, man, taxes everywhere. You know, there's this taxes man, everywhere. <laughs> I'm telling you what, Brian, you're on Real Estate Mortgage Shop. I'm your host, Joe Garner, mortgage loan officer. I would love to connect with you at jogarner.com. You can do your loan online and get you a great rate. I get you a terrific rate. Or you can call me and talk with me personally, 901-482-0354. But you got to ask for me personally to get to work with me personally. So do that. And uh, you know what? We've got a great um, host, I'm um, a great co-host in the seat today in our studio. It's Brian Mallory. He is a certified uh, real estate property tax appeal expert. Let me see if I can get all that very out. Very right. wordy. Very <laughs> wordy. He's an appraiser. He knows his stuff. And uh, we're talking about how to appeal your real estate property assessment. Ax the tax and chop your mortgage cost. So give us a call while we're live today, May 20th, 2017 at 901-48. I'm sorry, that's my number, 901-535-9732. We're going to take a moment. We're going to play a game that a lot of people in Memphis like to play. But even if you're not from Memphis and you know the answer to our Look Back Memphis Trivia Contest, you need to give us a call, 901-535-9732. Our Look Back Memphis Trivia Contest is brought to you by notable Memphis historian Jimmy Ogle. Jimmy Ogle offers free historic walking tours downtown in the spring and fall. For more information about Jimmy Ogle, go to jimmyogle.com. The Look Back Memphis Trivia Contest is sponsored by John and Jennifer Lawhon of Lawhon Landscape, 901-754-7474. The Lawhans can help you plan your landscaping if you have a big, big project or a little project or you want to do the big one in phases. The Lawhans are giving away a $25 gift card to the first person with the correct trivia answer. So give us a call, 901-535-9732, if you're, you know the answer. Our question is, who am I? My hint is, I am named for a hero in 1925 involved with the M.E. Norman sinking the boat sinking. Who am I? Our hint number two, I worked on the Mississippi River as a levee worker in the 1920s. And uh, if you get, if you, if you name the person or the place, you get, you get to win this, uh, the, the trivia contest. Here's another, here's another hint. The name of my John boat was Z, as in zebra, E, a V as in Victor, Zev. After the 1923 Kentucky Derby winner. And the last hint is the original, well, here's, I'll give you a couple more hints. The original name of my park, this is a park, was Astor Park. And our final hint, I could not swim. So if you pick my name or the name of the, of the place that is named after me, you win our trivia contest, 901-535-9732. So I know we're going to get some winners on this one. (laughs) Um, I want to go back, Brian, and go with a question that I've wanted to ask you before we went off on break. How can I appeal my Shelby County, Tennessee real estate property tax assessment? Okay. Well, let's get in. Let's get into the nitty gritty here. Uh, I'm going to give some hints uh, for taxpayers on what they can do without the assistance of somebody like me, a property tax agent. Uh, these are steps that I think they should, uh, uh, they can use to do this on their own. Um, and uh, so the, the first thing I think a, a taxpayer needs to do is to communicate with the assessor's office. Mm-hmm. Um, the people that work at the assessor's office are very competent, um, knowledgeable people, whether it's the staff or the appraisers, or management there, uh, the first step should be uh, that you call the assessor's office and tell them that you have a concern uh, about the value of your property. Um, once you've done that, and you've uh, uh, sometimes they'll give you an appraiser that you can deal with specifically, and you can go through the uh, the procedure. Uh, they're very helpful with get, telling you exactly the steps that you need to take. But uh, we have just passed the online informal review. Uh, portion of appealing your taxes. Now we are at a point where uh, you have until June 30th to appeal your case before the full Board of Equalization. 
Now, that doesn't mean that uh, you will have to go sit in front of the full board. Uh, before that step, uh, you would be meeting with a hearing officer to uh, determine if they can lower it without having to go in front of the full board. But mm-hmm. uh, the first, uh, after communicating with the assessor's office, uh, uh, you should ask the assessor's office. This is something that most taxpayers don't know, and, and a lot of a lot of real estate professionals don't know. You have a right to get a copy of the five sales that were used to value your property, and you can get those sales from the assessor's office. You just have to go into the Mullen Station location and request those sales. Uh, then you know how they're valuing your property. Well, those are the exact comparables they're mm-hmm. using. So, mm-hmm. um, and, and then at that point, uh, you've got that information uh, and the addresses of those properties. Uh, you hopefully have, everyone has a realtor friend uh, and if you've got a really good realtor friend, uh, <laughs> they may be willing to uh, print up photos of those comparables used by the assessor's office of the interior and exterior of the property to truly determine if that's a comparable property with your property. If you've got a, a dated uh, grandma kitchen, <laughs> uh, I like to call it, uh, or dated baths, uh the assessor's office may not be comparing apples to apples. They may be comparing apples to bananas. And uh, so at that point, it's a matter of being able to access the data and, and, and provide yourself with the best case to explain to the assessor's office that your property is not being appraised uh, appropriately with the best comparables. And uh, then uh you also want to take pictures of your property. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I mentioned, if you have a dated kitchen or baths, uh, if you have deferred maintenance on your exterior, a lot of peeling paint, rotted wood, um, if you have a shed that's falling down, if you have, uh, if you have any external, um, uh, anything external that might be affecting your property, if you're located across the street from a strip center or a, a commercial building or these are factors that factor into value. Exactly. And if you can show the assessor's office these items, you have a really good chance of getting your property lowered. Um, so those are some, uh, that that's where you should start. Um, and uh, so, so right now, uh, well, we got a phone call. You know what? Hold Uh-oh. that thought, Brian. Hold that thought because we have a winner of our Look Back Memphis Trivia Contest. Oh. And uh, congratulations to Gene, who uh, apparently has guessed the correct answer. So, Gene, what's our what's the answer to our Look Back Memphis Trivia Contest today? Tom Lee. Tom Lee or Tom Lee Park. Either one of those answers wow. would have worked. You know? Did you know he saved all those people? from that uh, sinking ship on uh, Mississippi River, and he didn't even know how to swim. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. It is. Do you know anything else that you'd like to add about uh, Tom Lee Park or Tom Lee, Jean? Well, I recently, I only recently learned all this because I read a magazine that was published in uh, the commercial appeal a while back uh-huh. that had a lot of Memphis trivia in it. You know, I congratulate you for winning. And if you guys out there want to know more about Memphis history, Jimmy Ogle adds so many more details and stories and facts and um, interesting things. And you can find that in the blog at jogarner.com. Just go and go to the blog post uh, page. And you can click on those, and the show notes are there. And if you scroll down, you'll see a lot more history. Things like Gene mentioned uh, that uh, we don't have time to mention on the air. But, Gene, I congratulate you so much for winning our Look Back Memphis Trivia Contest. And thank you for listening and playing. Thank you. Well, you have a nice afternoon, and enjoy Memphis in May. And thank you, Gene, for being on the air. And uh, Lawhans of Lawhan Landscape is going to send Gene a $25 gift card. So, you know what? We've got about a couple more minutes, Brian. I want you to pick up. We were talking about how do I appeal my Shelby County, Tennessee property taxes. And you were going into some things like taking pictures of your house, your kitchen, your bath. If you're living in, if you're cooking out of grandmother's kitchen and you haven't updated, but your neighbors have, that may be a good reason to document that you need lower taxes. That's right. It's all about documentation and providing data 
to present to the assessor's office or the Board of Equalization that your information would lead the Board of Equalization to come to the conclusion that your property is valued too high. And uh, so it's it's all about putting that information together, presenting it to them in a respectful manner that usually uh, leads to your property value being lowered. It's all about documentation and uh, making sure that it's being compared with the right property. What are uh, what are my chances of getting my property taxes lowered? Well, we got it, about a minute before we go to Fox it, News. It all depends on your case. It all depends on those pictures that you take. That will be my biggest ammunition when I'm going before the board or, mm-hmm. or speaking with an appraiser on the phone uh, that we have a dated property and we need to compare it with other dated properties, apples to apples. Uh, that's the key. Yeah. Well, very good, Brian. That's a very good segment. And if you missed part of that segment, go to jogarner.com and, uh, on Monday and go to the blog, Mortgage Loans blog tab and pick it up there. Uh, also, we'd love for you to subscribe. Just email me at jo at jogarner.com. We'll get you on our subscription list. We'll send you out every week a copy of our blog post with the embedded podcast so you can keep up to date. If we have anything that we think can save you some money, we'll also give you a heads up on that. So subscribe at jogarner.com. Just email me, jo at jogarner.com. We're talking about uh, how to appeal your real estate property tax assessment, axe the tax, and chop your mortgage cost. I'm Joe Garner, your host, mortgage loan officer, and we're talking with Brian Mallory, a certified Shelby County property tax appeal expert. We want to talk with you. Call us while we're live today, 901-535-9732. We'll see you guys back in just a moment. The Mid-South's only home for news, weather, and traffic. News Talk 600 WREC, WEGR HD2 Memphis, and iHeart Radio Station. Online, anytime. 600 WREC is on demand at 600WREC.com. And on your smartphone with iHeart Radio. News Talk 600 WREC Memphis. I'm Mary Lou Novak from Home Helpers in Memphis and the Mid-South area. And you're listening to Real Estate Mortgage Shop. And now back to your host, Joe Garner. Cash or credit, it doesn't matter. Long as my bank books keep growing fatter. Easy Street is my favorite avenue. Who needs money? I do. Just pity all those millionaires, they never can relax because they're always worrying. Do you need money? You're on Real Estate Mortgage Shop. I am Joe Garner, your host. You can connect with me at jogarner.com. I am a mortgage loan officer, and I would love to help you chop your mortgage cost. We're talking about how to appeal your real estate property tax assessment, axe the tax, and chop your mortgage cost. In the studio with me today, I have Brian Mallory, who has done very well at helping people axe the tax on their Shelby County, Tennessee property tax assessments. Uh, He's an appeal expert. Expert. So we want to talk with you and you can call us if you want to be around the studio table with us today. 901-535-9732 for the studio number. We have Randy on the line and Randy, how can we help you today? I was calling to make sure I'm not too late to file for a tax appeal this year. Hey, Randy, uh, you are not. What just ended was the online informal review period where you could submit documentation online. But now we're at a, actually at a similar point it's done a similar way and that it can be done online by the taxpayer or an agent if you go on to the shelby county assessor's website uh, there's a link down below that will take you to the shelby county board of equalization website and then a link there it sounds kind of confusing but it's really not a a link that'll let you appeal and submit information online to the assessor's office and, and and randy we're going to have this on the mortgage loans blog tab at jogarner.com on monday we'll have a step-by-step and links and everything for you just to click through go ahead and i was just going to say in the deadline to submit that information is june 30th okay all right thank you very much thank, thank you randy thank you. for being on real estate mortgage shop and we have uh, we have david on the line david how can we help you today yes i, I know the same thing uh how to uh appeal it and because there's a house that right beside me just like mine mm-hmm. been there five years burned out and, and i'm sorry what happened to it it's been burned out and it's been sitting there for and, five and, years. 
and you're worried and you're wondering what type of impact that would have on the valuation of your property? Yes, I was wondering if that would lower my you, tax. What, what, out, okay. Like what we talked about earlier in the show, if you're able to take pictures of that burned out property, uh, has the property been vacant and burned out for a long time? Did you say five well, years ago? Five, five years. Yeah. Uh, they, they cut the grass and everything. The outside looks okay. Mm-hmm. The inside is completely burned out. Yeah. Take pictures of that property and then you need to con- yeah, and contact the assessor's office to let them know that. And I would do that. I would do that with a phone call versus going appealing to the full board online that I just told the other caller about. That's a situation that they need to know about that property next door that's burned out and uh, it could have a significant impact on the valuation of your property. That's a great question, David. I just called them with the number that's on the card. The main number at at the assessor's office, I believe, I don't have it here. Uh, I believe it's just go to the main page of the assessor's office, and then there's a link there for contact us. I don't want to give you the wrong number. Uh, And you can find it by Googling Shelby County, Tennessee, property tax assessor. And it starts with 222, 901-222, yeah. David, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being on Real Estate Mortgage Shop. And uh, we have William on the line. And, William, how can we help you today? Uh, Yes. uh, I did the informal review. Uh, My neighbor that's house is right next to me was appraised at 120. He showed me the card that he received in the mail. And then I asked two neighbors that lived directly across the street from me. All of our homes in the county in Cordova are the same size square footage. There's one of them was 114.5 and one of them was 119. They appraised mine at 126.5. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got the answer back from the informal review. They denied it. So I've got an appointment for an appeal set up mm-hmm. for June the 7th. I asked my neighbors if I could get those cards from them that the assessor sent to them, but they've already threw them away. What do I need to take to that appointment on June the 7th for the appeal? I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, forget about the cards of those properties that are on your street and in your neighborhood. That will not help you. The Board of Equalization and the Tax Assessor's Office doesn't want to see that. They want to see sales of comparable properties. So now if those properties that you're talking about actually sold over the past two years from 1115 to 1117, then you could take that to them and show that to them. You need sales of properties that sold during that past two-year period that fall within your market area of of Cordova, uh, but for, yeah, forget. How, how many do I need to? How many do I need to take? Two well, or three? The, four? On the online informal review, which you said that you already submitted, they asked for a minimum of two. I would say three at a minimum, and uh, and it wouldn't wouldn't hurt to also provide them with an active or pending listing in the same neighborhood that might also support your value. So I could go to Zillow.com or, or some site like that and get some previous sales history, and that would be fine? Just print that out? You could go to Chandler Reports. I know that Chandler provides a property tax appeal kit. I think it's around 50 bucks um, that uh, can give you sales within your immediate subdivision as well as subdivisions outside of there if you're limited on the number of sales within your immediate subdivision. But uh, but that's what you need. You need sales. and uh, You can have Brian do it for you, William. For he, he only charges half of the first year's savings, and he, he can do it for you. And, and Brian has access to the MLS, Multiple Listing Service, which is going to give you a lot more ammunition than what you're going to get from anywhere else. But, uh, William, we... Great. We, we appreciate you being on Real Estate Mortgage Shop, and we have Ben on the line. And, Ben, how can we help you today? Uh, yes, uh, thanks for taking my call. Uh, Brian, uh, you said something a little earlier in the show that they pull five comps. Yes, uh, that's a fact that not many people know because it's not on the assessor's website. But for residential properties, Shelby County properties, parcels, uh, you can go to the assessor's office uh, on Mullen Station Road, 
and at the front desk request, tell them you want a printout of the five sales used to value your property. And then you'll go into another room that's right around the corner and uh, you'll tell uh, one of the people that works there uh, that that's what you need and it'll take about five minutes. I've been in there before where they charged me a dollar or two. I've been in there the last five times I've been in there. They haven't charged me anything. So, uh, but yes, and then that will give you the five sales that they're using to value your property, which is obviously a leg up on the information that you didn't have before. So, sure. yeah. Ryan, I, um, I live in Germantown. I, I live in an area called Dogwood Grove. I know it, yes. It's the second phase of Dogwood Grove, actually, and mm-hmm. I was the first home here. Mm-hmm. The house was built in 92. Okay. And my house, although it's nice, it's much, much smaller than the other ones that were built around. Okay. Um, I'm, you know, 3,800, uh, 3,800 square feet. Most of the homes on my cove and around me, as a matter of fact, all of them, mm-hmm. are over 5,000. 5556 My appraisal went up $53,000. Right. And I just, you know, I, I don't, there's not a house, although my house is nice, there's not a house anywhere close to here that's the size of my home. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So, it's, I mean, does that, is that it, very valid? I mean, I, I would think. It's, it's a matter of comparing apples to apples, if you can. And sometimes... That can be more difficult, uh, and somebody that's looking at your property may have to go to competing subdivisions or market areas to find appropriate comparison. Call Brian. Brian, how do how does everybody? I want to thank everybody for calling. By the way, they, these are excellent questions, and we hope that you leave your name and your phone number with our producer so that Brian can call you after the show and go into more detail. Ben, uh, that was an awesome question. I hope you will leave your phone number and contact information with our producer. And Rich, hang on the line. We'll get back to you. Uh, You're on Real Estate Mortgage Shop. I did want to um, mention to my past clients out there, I sent out uh, several postcards to my past clients uh, last week, and I wrote on there, call me. This is exactly why I want you to call me. I want to help you to see if if you need to appeal your property taxes to save you money, because I am your lender for life. (laughs) <laughs> Joe, you are. Uh, I, I actually, uh, I actually spoke with uh, a client of yours that that uh, has been a client of yours for many years, an elderly gentleman that lives in uh, East Memphis. I was trying to help him with his tax appeal, and I ended up that I was unable to help him with his tax appeal. But I, after uh, researching the property, I came came up with the idea of well, he might possibly qualify under the property tax freeze program with Shelby County uh, trustees office. He so was I, elderly. He was sick in the bed. Incapacitated. And he couldn't do anything. You really helped him out on that. I, I appreciate it. I called the trustees office and, and had them call him and uh, hopefully he can uh, uh, get approved for that program. Well, you know, so. Brian, I, I love my customers. And if you're one of my clients out there, I will personally help you. Uh, I'm your lender for life. So I'm going to continue over the years to try to help you save money, even though you did your loan with me 10, 20 years ago, even. My number directly is 901-482-0354. Brian, how do we call you? My number is 901-870-4663 or my website which is www.shelbycountypropertytaxappeal.com. We're talking about how to appeal your real estate property tax assessment, axe the tax, chop your mortgage cost. I'm Joe Garner, mortgage loan officer. You can connect with me at jogarner.com. We want you to call us while we're live today, May 20th, 2017, 901-535-9732. We'll see you guys back in just a moment. Hi, I'm Katie Gilliland at BackupRx at BackupRx.com in Hernando, Mississippi. You're listening to Real Estate Mortgage Shop. Now, back to your host, Joe Garner. The tax man's taken all my dough and left me in my stately home Blazing on a sunny afternoon And I can't sail my yacht Oh, I feel so sorry for him. He can't sail his yacht, Brian. <laughs> Right. You're on you're on Real Estate Mortgage Shop. I'm your host, Joe Garner, Mortgage Loan Officer. We're in the in the studio. We have Brian Mallory, a certified Shelby County, Tennessee property tax appeal expert. We would like to have you in the studio with us too. So uh 
call us. And our topic today is a hot one. It is how to appeal your real estate property assessment, axe the tax, chop your mortgage cost. We've got Rich on the line. Rich, how can we help you today? Hey, good morning. Brian, you mentioned that at the second level, I believe you go to a uh, board of appraisers. Is that what you call them? It's the Shelby County Board of Equalization, which is a group of 10 board members. I was on this board back in 2009 to 2011, but it's you actually go in front of this board, sit down at uh, the head of the table, and there's a tax assessor appraiser right next to you. They plead their case. You plead your case. You're presenting your data to the board, and then the board makes a decision on the value. But before I that, I just this once. I have done this once, and, right. and I believe those members were actually real estate. Uh, salespeople, is that correct? There are. It's made up of a number of people. Uh, uh, there are some realtors on there. There's appraisers on the residential side, appraisers on the commercial side. Uh, so it's a it's a broad spectrum. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, one other quick question. And thanks for your time. Yeah. I have a, a house that was purchased in August of 2016, and in the meantime, from that time frame until the appraisals came out, which were, what, end of February? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, it, hey, if you'll leave your name and number, Rich, with our producer, Brian uh, definitely wants to get back with you. He's nodding. Yes, he, he wants to get back with you, and we appreciate you, Rich. You have got some great questions. want to take a moment and do what we do every week, which is the... Real Estate Tip of the Week. I've got the Real Estate Tip of the Week. How do you get rid of private mortgage insurance? If you already have a conventional mortgage and you think the balance owing on your mortgage is less than 80% of today's value on your home, you can call your current lender and ask them to remove the private mortgage insurance from your payments so that you don't have to pay it anymore. They're probably going to want some money from you to order an appraisal just to make sure that your mortgage is, you know, indeed less than 80% of your home's current value. As a mortgage loan officer, my first job is to make sure that I cut the cost on uh, of the mortgage loan as much as possible from my mortgage customers applying for a mortgage. One way that I do that is to help them avoid paying mortgage insurance as much as possible. I have had uh, mortgage customers apply online or even by phone or in person that I've helped them eliminate all or part of what they would have normally paid for mortgage insurance. Here's an example of a common occurrence. I had a customer who had just finished graduate school and gotten a great job locally. She got her offer accepted on a home for 160000 in the neighborhood where she told me, she said, I want this house to be my forever home. And even if one day I buy another house, I plan to keep this one and rent it out to tenants and make money. She's going to keep the loan for a long time. She applied for a 30-year FHA loan, putting the minimum down, 3.5%. But after asking her some questions, she told me that her parents had given her quite a bit of money for her down payment. She had enough to pay 10% down on the house. Because she paid 10% down, I was able to make a cut her mortgage insurance on the FHA. And because she was paying 10% down, she did not have to pay her mortgage insurance forever for the life of the loan like you do on FHA loans. That's not true for conventional, but it is that that is something you want to watch out for on FHA and some of these online companies you have to be careful because they don't always dig to try to save you the money. Got a few announcements. Talk Shop <coughs> offers free networking and education to anyone interested in real estate or business. Talk Shop meets every Wednesday, 9 to 10 a.m. at Nova Copy Conference Center, 7251 Appling Farms Parkway. This Wednesday, May 24th, 2017, Talk Shop presents quality health care to the uninsured working in low-wage jobs. And this is presented by the Church Health Center. Don't miss that. Talk Shop events are free thanks to sponsors like Lynn and Troy McDonald of Aaron McDonald Insurance Agency. You can call Lynn at 901-849-7101. Lynn has also been great at doing insurance checkups for people even if they don't, even if they're not her customer, just to make sure that they're getting the best coverage at the lowest cost. She'll tell you if your mortgage, if your insurance company is giving you that. She's really good about that. Thank you to Talk Shop's advertiser and leadership support 
reporter Peggy Lau, an independent representative with World Ventures. Peggy is living my dream, traveling around the world. She can show you how to earn first-class vacations free. You can get connected with a -a one-of-a-kind travel community. Call Peggy, 901-289-0747. Thank you to Chad Irwin of Evolve Bank & Trust, the Memphis Mortgage Office, for sponsoring Real Estate Mortgage Shop today. Do you want to ratchet up your mortgage career and have some fun doing it? Who else do you know that might want to kick their mortgage career in high gear? Call Chad at 901-260-1480, or you can call me at 482-0354, area code 901. Let's talk. For this podcast of Real Estate Mortgage Shop and more, go to jogarner.com. You can email me, jo at jogarner.com, and subscribe to our podcast and show notes. We'll uh, give you a uh, We'll give you great information on how you can save money on real estate or your financing. Real Estate Mortgage Shop reminds you that if uh, make your plan, let's work your plan. If the deal works for you today, hey, let's do it today. Our quote corner, I've got a couple here. This is from uh, Anonymous. Yes, money can't buy happiness, but it is more comfortable to cry in a BMW than on a bicycle. (laughs) And here's another one. uh, (laughs) It's from Unknown. I am going to retire and live off my savings. What I'll do the second day, I have no idea. (laughs) So you definitely want to buy some real estate, get you some uh, residual income coming in so that when you retire, you don't have to worry about the second day. You've been listening to Real Estate Mortgage Shop. I'm Joe Garner, your host, mortgage loan officer. Let me help you. Let me work on your loan for you. 901-482-0354, jogarner.com. Brian Mallory, uh, how do we contact you today? You can contact me at 901-870-870. 4663 or com. Great. We love hanging out with you. We'll see you guys next Saturday. Thank you for listening to Real Estate Mortgage Shop, where we offer you solutions to your real estate and financing scenarios. I'm Joe Garner, your host, mortgage professional. Catch this podcast and more at jogarner.com.